Good afternoon, this is Meredith Harris with Remax of Orange Beach and I wanna welcome you to my home. Um, this week I'm doing a real estate blog um, on my website and if you haven't checked out my real estate blogs, um, you can do that at www.meredithharris.com. But I try to do a weekly blog, something dealing with one aspect of the real estate industry, whether it's investing or buying or selling or you know, insurance and different you know, challenges we face being down here at the beach. And sometimes I do just fun entertainment stuff. But this week I'm doing a blog about different ways you can update your home to get it ready for the market. Um, and I thought I'd take you through a few things I've done on my own home. Um, some of it post Sally, some of it more recent, um, some of it more expensive, some of it less expensive. But, you know, in this market, I think it's important to make your house or condo shine above the rest. Give buyers a reason to pick your property versus another one in the neighborhood. Um, so I hope that these tips will give you something to consider when you're getting your house ready. And, uh, I will take you through a few of the things that I've done with my own house, and thank you for watching. So the favorite thing I've done to my house so far, and please excuse the mess because I do live here, was putting down tile floors. Now, when I bought this house, um, it had carpet in this area and up the stairs, and I kept carpet upstairs. Um, but it had tile partially downstairs and partially carpet. And to me, that just looked kind of weird. So um, one of the updates that I made that I just did recently was putting in these tile floors. And I think it made such a huge difference. It makes it look bigger and cleaner. And, you know, it, it cost more than putting down LVP flooring, but I think it just made a huge difference. And it kind of ties all the room together. So one of the things I did, because I had some older granite in my home, um, I believe they call this tiger's eye, but in the kitchen, it's something very similar um, to Venetian gold. And it just wasn't modern and I didn't like it very much. And I had white cabinets before and so it made it stand out even more like a sore thumb. So I made blue cabinets. And that might seem um, a little wild to some people, but at the beach, you know, beachy colors are okay. Um, so anyway, I have nice blue cabinets. If you'll notice, I put updated hardware and also new faucets that are that brushed nickel and yeah, a little edgier. And it just gave it a, a bit more of an updated look. In the boys' bathroom, we went with a little bit darker metal and darker fixtures, and it really did make it pop. Um, of course, this is brand new granite, but on the vanities, it was a very inexpensive buy. I think I ended up paying $1,000 to have both vanities done. And of course, I live in a condo, so the vanities are smaller than maybe what you would have in a house, um, but it was still very inexpensive and updated the look. And of course, um, these are new doors and drawer fronts that were ordered from Maynard Woodworking and installed by those guys. Um, and it's just a simple thermofoil, but it gives it a nice updated look. Yes, we are looking straight up into the stairwell because I wanted to show you that light fixtures can transform a house. This was um, just a can light and I'll show you a picture that's a little bit closer, but I want you to think about um, updating your lighting fixtures for a new look in your home. This doesn't have to be an incredibly expensive fix, but it can make all the difference in the world. And I'm gonna show you a few pictures of the different fixtures that I put in my house so you can get an idea of, of some updated looks. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today at my house. I hope you found this helpful and you, maybe you took away some tips to get your own house or condo ready for the market. Um, I enjoyed spending this time with you and if I can help you, please let me know. Call me anytime, thanks.